Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, I have to say a big, big welcome to you to a very, very important crossover prayer tonight. We just give God the praise, to be honest with you, that God has kept us all through these months. And here we are, the very last crossover into any month in the year 2021. The next crossover we will have will be crossing over into 2022 by the grace of God. So tonight is very, very significant because it is crossing over into the last month of this year. If we have found it necessary to pray as we crossed over into the previous months, I believe that praying about crossing over into this last month is equally, if not even more important. The reason is very simple. You'll all agree with me. The last lap of every race is always considered very important. The final exam of any course you take is always considered very, very important. The final approach for landing by any airplane is very, very important. So is the entry into and completion of this last month, very, very, very crucial. I'm convinced also that by the grace of God, these 31 days are long enough for God to do some great things in your life. These 31 days are long enough for God to transform Everything about you and everything about me, I'm convinced that the next 31 days are long enough for God to make you stronger in Him and in the power of His might. I am convinced that the next 31 days are long enough to get all that has evaded you for the past 11 months. I am convinced, ladies and gentlemen, that the next 31 days are enough to pursue and overtake all your dreams for 2021. 31 days, yes, they are long enough to recover all that you and I have lost in this year. 31 days are long enough to bring a real excitement into your life to replace any dullness that 2021 has brought into your life. The good news is that we have the promises of God to back us up. So all the statements I made, they are not just empty statements. We've got the promises of God Almighty to back us up for all that we have said. That's the good news. And I believe God's going to do some great things in your life. And God's going to do some great things in my life. I really do believe that if you will get into the prayers of tonight, you will get some mighty things in your life. Oh, by the way, we are having communion too, as we usually do. In, do. Now, so get your communion stuff ready, your bread and your fruit of the vine. Mine is right here by my side. We're just going to break bread together as we enter into the new month by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me share with you one of the promises that we're going to stand on for the last month of this year. is in the book of Job, chapter 8, in verse number 7. Look at what the King James Version says. I actually like the Christian Standard Bible Version. But let me read my regular, you know, I'm a King James guy. Let me read my regular King James verse. It says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end shall greatly increase. But the Christian Standard Bible is so applicable to what we're doing tonight. 
then even if your beginnings were modest, don't you love that? He said, even if your beginnings were modest, your final days will be full of prosperity. I feel like shouting, you know. He says, your final days will be full of prosperity. January 2021 was our beginning for the year. And December is our ending for 2021. The next 31 days can be described as our final days for this year. See what that verse says again? Christian Standard Bible. Then even if your beginnings were modest, your final days will be full of prosperity. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Let me hear you say it now. Say in the name of Jesus. Say as I cross over into December tonight, my final days of 2021 shall be full of prosperity, shall be full of favor, new grace, new mercy, new power, new strength, new doors, in the name of Jesus Christ. What else did I say? But to go, take you into the prayer points. Because I got a lot of prayer points that we need to cover and still do our communion tonight. I want you to thank God for special crossover prayers of tonight because this is special. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I worship you for allowing me to be part of those that will be in this special last crossover for 2021. Many of you are there, the first one in January. Many of you are there for the first one, second one in February. And here you are. You never missed any. Maybe you missed one or two. But here we are, the last one. There you are. And God is going to bless you tonight. Say, Lord, I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you dominion. I give you majesty. Thank you, Lord, for this special crossover prayer tonight. Thank him for being with you since last month when we prayed the last crossover prayers. Thank God for watching over you. Thank God for protecting you. Thank God for keeping you. Thank God for just being your God and for standing by your side all through the month of November. He brought you through Thanksgiving and by his grace you're going to see the end of the year safe and sound. Father, I will bless you for your protection. Come on, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him for keeping you since the 1st of November till today. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his provision. Thank him that he has never failed you. His promises have been yea and amen in your life. God has been a good God. God has been a faithful God to you. God has been a good God and a faithful God to me also. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you for your protection. Father, we honor you for your provision upon our lives. Thank him for his never failing promises that have availed for us all through 2021. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you dominion and we give you majesty. Thank him for his presence among us month after month. Oh, hallelujah. We look back now from January to today. God has been a good God to us. He has kept us. He has watched over us. He has been such a gracious God. He has been the Lord has said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Come and give him praise for that. Give him glory for that. Give him honor for that. Thank him, thank him, thank him for his presence among your family, among your family members, on your job, in your business. We just give him praise, we give him glory, hallelujah. I want you to thank him for, remove all, for removing all barriers and all hindrances out of your way even right now. I just want you to ask God to help you to take out unbelief, to take out sin out of your heart. I want you to believe God that unbelief will not hinder you and sin will not hinder you. Especially the communion we are going to have tonight. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus over your heart and over your life. That any unforgiveness, any bitterness, any sin of omission, any sin of commission. I want you to ask the Lord to wash you and cleanse you and purge you and purify you. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I pray for purification tonight. Say, Lord, I pray for cleansing tonight. Lord, cleanse me, Lord, wash me with the blood of Jesus. 
whatever I might have done, whatever, wherever I might have been, whatever I might have touched, whatever I might have drank, whatever I might have ingested that is contrary to your word and will for my life. I pray the blood of Jesus will wash me. The blood of Jesus will cleanse me. I pray that unbelief will be swept out of my life tonight. Even as I pray, as I cross over into this new month, hallelujah. Lord, don't let sin be a barrier to me tonight. Don't let unbelief be a barrier to me tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I always ask you to pray for grace. I want you to pray that God will give you the grace for the prayers of tonight. Grace to be focused, grace to concentrate, grace to be able to pray with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your spirit. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O God. Can we just thank God for a minute for keeping us since January? Through many dangers, through many trials, through many ups and downs. God has brought us to this point, and it's a beautiful point in time. Father, we bless you for your protection on us. I thank you for how you have kept us from the month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and here we are. December. Ha ha. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. <clears throat> Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we honor you. I want you to pray tonight uh, that the Lord who has brought you from January will not leave you alone in these final days of 2021. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, you have brought me up to this point. Uh, don't leave me alone uh, in these final days of 2021. Uh, oh Lord, don't let me face 2021 remaining days alone by myself. Uh, Papa, be my companion. Uh, Papa, be by my side. Uh, Papa, stand by me strong and mighty in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to be by your side for the remaining and the final days. You know what he says in that scripture we read in the book of Job? He says your final days will be spent in prosperity. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Lord, don't leave me alone these final days. Stand by me, O God. Stand by me, O God, these final days of 2021. Don't leave me alone, Lord Jesus Christ. Don't leave me alone, Lord Jesus Christ. Papa, stand by me, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that if God is with you, everything will be fine for the remaining 31 days of this month. Glory to God. <laughs> Can I ask you to pray tonight that your sheep will not sink the remaining days of this year in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I decree. Come on, make this decree right now. Make the decree in his name alone. Say, I decree that my sheep will not sink. My sheep that has not sunk since January will not sink for the remaining days, the final days of this month. I will row, row, row my boat even to the shore of happiness, to the shore of joy, to the shore of January 1st. 2022. Hallelujah. Decree, 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 decree. <coughs> he said you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. So why don't you make your decrees and see it established unto you right now. In the name of Jesus, my ship will not sink. My flight that did not crash since January will not crash right now. In the name of Jesus, God that has washed over me and did not allow God my flight to crash since January. Oh Lord, you will not now allow that flight to crash in the name of Jesus. I'm believing you. I'm trusting you for safe landing. Hallelujah. Safe landing for the rest of this year, oh God. Lord, you will keep me. You will watch over me. You will protect me. You will do great and mighty things in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I wanted to say, oh Lord, my God. Come and say loud and clear. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say your strength that has powered me since January shall not be depleted now in the name of Jesus. Your strength that has powered me, that has kept me moving like the engine of an automobile will not die in this month of December in the name of Jesus, but you'll go stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Your strength that has powered me since January shall not be depleted right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, Lord, let your strength be my strength for the remaining part of this year. Let your grace be my 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 
my, my buckler for the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. He said your final days shall be spent in prosperity. You remember what the Bible says? Your final days. Yes, your final days. I want you to receive it and repent. Uh, I repeat it. Uh, say, my final days of this year shall be spent in prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say it again. Uh, say, my final days uh, shall be spent in prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm believing that God will send some money into your hand that has not come into your hands since the month of January. Some things will happen in this 31 days uh, that will turn you into a multi millionaire prosperity. Prosperity, spiritual prosperity, financial prosperity, marital prosperity. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Lord, grace and power. Say those two words. Say, grace and power. Say them again. Say, grace and power to finish this year in power and prosperity. The double P, power and prosperity. Prosperity, Father, I receive tonight in the name of Jesus uh, grace and power to finish this year, 2021, uh, in uh, power and prosperity. Papa, I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. In the name of Jesus, I receive that grace, oh God. Papa, I receive that grace right now to finish this year in power, to finish this year in prosperity. Papa, let it be my portion. Let it be the portion of everyone that is on this prayer line tonight, even as we top it up with our communion with you tonight. Papa, grace, 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 grace from above. Grace, 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 grace from above to finish this this year in power to finish this year in prosperity. Papa, I receive it tonight. Even as I lead this prayer, I receive it for them also, and they receive it for themselves. Even as they pray these prayers along with us tonight, power and prosperity, grace and power in the name of Jesus to finish 2021, the last days, the final days, the closing days. I want you to call them and say prosperity, 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 coming from the north, coming from the south, coming from the east, coming from the west, coming from above, coming from below, wherever you are, my prosperity tonight, you must locate me at this closing. You know what it says? It says, even if your beginnings were modest, your final days shall be full of prosperity. Say, I decree it and I receive it. My final days of 2021 shall be full in the name of Jesus of prosperity. I will be prospered in my business. I will be prospered in my office. I will be prospered, oh God, in my profession. Prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. I want us to specifically pray for financial prosperity. He said, your final days <coughs> shall be full of prosperity. Hallelujah. I want you to pray tonight, uh, regardless of what you've been through this year. This coming few days uh, shall just make uh, prosperity to flow into your life uh, like a river. In the name of Jesus, Papa, we receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, grace to finish this year in power. Grace to finish this year in prosperity. Increase power. Increase prosperity. Increase power. Increase prosperity. I receive it by faith tonight. I receive it by faith tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, come we pray for your strength right now. Say, oh Lord, say all the weaknesses that have latched onto my life during this year. Drop off right now at the gate of this last month. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every weakness, every physical weakness, every spiritual weakness, every health weakness that have latched onto my life during this year. At any time during this year, I command you to drop off right now. I'm telling you to pray in faith now. If you pray in faith, God will answer you and do great things in your life. I want you to make every prayer to be prayer of faith. I want you to make every prayer to be prayer of confidence. Say a decree in the name of Jesus, by the power and the mercy of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every weakness that has latched on into my life. Drop off right now. Drop off. Come on, open your mouth. Right now, drop off at the gate of this last month. 
month. You will not enter into this last month with me. Talk less of concluding this year with me in the name of Jesus. Physical weakness, spiritual weakness, emotional weakness, financial weakness. Drop off, drop off my life, drop off my life in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that has been shot into my life to be weak in any form, in any way, in any shape, I pull you out, I pull you out in the name of Jesus. Even at this very gate of this very last month, come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that all the needs that have latched onto you this year, all the needs will be met this last month of this year. In the name of Jesus. All the I wish I had. All the I wish I have. All the I wish I had this this year. In the name of Jesus. And you still, you don't have it yet. I decree that those needs be met this last month. In the name of Jesus. Jesus say, Papa, let them be met. All the needs, all my emotional needs, all my financial needs, all my academic needs, let them be meant to God. Even this last month of this year, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everybody say transformation. I said, say transformation. Say it one more time, say transformation. Say, oh Lord, the next 31 days, in the name of Jesus, let them, let them be days of total transformation transformation for me oh in the name of Jesus the last 31 days the final days of this year the last 31 days of this year let them be days oh God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let them be days of total transformation physical transformation spiritual transformation material transformation where do you need transformation in what area of life do you need transformation mention it to God right now by faith in the name of Jesus. Maybe you've been going up and going down. You've been rising and you've been falling. I want you to pray tonight. Transform me in every way. Transform me in every manner. Transform me in every shape. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, the next four weeks, that's what it is folks. The next four weeks, you will become stronger in God and in the power of his might. Say, oh Lord, in the next four weeks, let me experience strength in you like I never experienced before. Let me experience power in you like I never experienced power before. Let me experience grace in you to be strong in the name of Jesus Christ. To finish this year stronger than I started. Did you hear what my prayer is tonight? That you will finish this year stronger than you began it in the name of Jesus, stronger in the realm of the spirit, stronger in the realm of the physical, stronger on your job, stronger wherever you find yourself. Let the four weeks, yes, four weeks of becoming stronger be mine. Let the four weeks that is remaining in this year be weeks that I will become stronger in the power of your might. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to ask the Lord tonight that the next 31 days uh, will be days of sorrow turned into joy. (laughs) Days of sorrow turned into joy. Days of sorrow turned into joy. Say, I speak into the month of December even before I begin you. You will be days of sorrows turned into joy in the name of Jesus. That means that any sorrow that has followed you up till this point will be transformed and transfigured. Hallelujah. Oh, into joy. Incredible joy. Papa, the next 31 days I pray. The next 31 days I plead. The next 31 days I ask, let them be days of sorrow turned into joy. Let them be days of failure turned into success. Let them be days, O Lord, of testimony, testimony, testimony. Let them be days of tests turned into testimonies. The next 31 days, O Lord, do something new in my life. Do something wonderful in my life. Do something marvelous in my life. Turn, O God, turn, O God, my 
life into a life of rejoicing, my life into a life of dancing. Let them be days of healing for every wound in my spirit. The next 31 days, I want you to decree wherever you are tonight what you want your next 31 days to be. Open your mouth and choose by yourself. Don't limit yourself to the ones I'm decreeing and asking you to pray. Find whatever you want God to do in the next 31 days and command it to come to pass. Command it to manifest the next 31 days. In the name of Jesus, let them be days of healing for every physical wound, for every spiritual wound. Maybe you had surgery in October. Maybe you had surgery in November. Yes, I want you to pray and it's still healing, but the healing is slow. Papa, let everything be healed. Don't let me carry any wound into January 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be days of healing for every wound in the spirit, for every wound in the physical. In the name of Jesus. Do you know there were some blessings that should have come into your life but are not there yet? I want you to pray tonight that every blessing that has invaded my life since January 2021 fall on my laps within the next four weeks. Decree it, my friend. Decree it by faith. There's something in my own head that I'm remembering that I need. Lord, I decree that thing to come to pass in the next four weeks. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, blessings, 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 blessings that have evaded me, that have eluded me. Since January, I've been pursuing this blessing. Since January, I've been pursuing this contract to be signed. Since January, January, I've been portraying this approval to be given. Papa, open the door. Give me as a Christmas present. Give me as a December to remember present. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, let it be released unto me the blessings, O Lord, that are supposed to be for me in, 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 in 2021, that I've not seen, that I've not received. This month of December, I receive you in the name of Jesus. I receive you by faith. I receive you by fire. I receive you by faith. I receive you by fire. I receive you by faith. I receive you by fire. I receive you by faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for strength to pursue and overtake. Yes, 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 yes. Strength to pursue and overtake. Strength to pursue and overtake. Now the creator. Say, I shall pursue. I shall overtake. All I have been running after since January. I shall pursue and I shall overtake. This this month of December in the name of Jesus say Lord by your grace by your power I decree in the name of Jesus I shall pursue and I shall overtake all I've been running after hallelujah since January 2021 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to pray tonight you know some people when they get to the last lap of the race they get tired and all the people coming behind them will pass them I want you to pray that I shall not be tired I shall not be weary in December. I shall not be tired of pursuing. I shall not be weary of pursuing. I shall not give up on pursuing and overtaking. All I have been running after since January. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You had some goals, you know, in January. I want you to pray tonight. December shall not pass you without accomplishing the goals that you set for yourself for this year. Say every goal I've set for myself, every goal I've set for my family, every goal I've set for my spiritual life, every goal I've set, oh God, even for my business life, let me accomplish them in this month, in the name of Jesus. Let me not have any carryover of goals. Let me not have any carryover of goals. Let them all be accomplished this month, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Have you lost anything this year? It's okay. That's why we do this carryover uh, uh, prayers. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight uh, in the name of Jesus that God uh, will make the next 31 days uh, to be days of recovery of any losses you have suffered so far in 2021. Uh, say, my father, my father, my father. Say, all the days of December, let them be days of recovery of the losses I have suffered in 2021. Uh, pray with fire. 
Pray with thunder. Pray with all your mind. Maybe there are some things you have lost this year. Maybe there are some losses you have you, you have suffered this year. This is a time now to, to recover yourself. This is a time now to recover everything. It shall be so for you. It shall be so for your family. It shall be so for your church. It shall be so for, for your business. Oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the next 31 days, let turn them into the days of recovery for everyone on this prayer line tonight. Uh, the next 31 days, Lord Jesus, uh, turn them into days of recovery in the name of Jesus uh, for every loss that we have suffered uh, in this year or previous years uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I ask you to pray for something by faith? <laughs> Say, my Father, let things begin to happen uh, that will bring me abundance of joy, abundance of happiness. Uh, these final days of 2021 uh, make things to begin to happen uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that will bring me abundance, uh, abundance of joy, uh, abundance, uh, abundance of happiness. Uh, let great things, let mighty things, let wonderful things uh, that will bring me abundance of happiness, uh, abundance of joy, uh, abundance of greatness uh, for 2021. Uh, these final days, uh, these 31 days that are left, uh, I command abundance of joy to come. Uh, things that will bring me joy, uh, things that will bring me happiness. Uh, look at me, look at me. Every day of this month of December, be my portion, uh, be my portion. Uh, unfulfilled dreams, where are you? Uh, unfulfilled dreams, I said where are you? Unfulfilled dreams for the last 11 months become reality. Become reality. Become reality in the 11 days, in, 11, in, in, in this in, uh, 31 days that are left in this month, in these four weeks that are left in this month. All unfulfilled dreams, I call you to come to pass. All my unfulfilled dreams, I call upon you. I summon you. Manifest. Manifest. Manifest, manifest, turn from dream into reality in this month of December. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer that everything that has been stolen from you this year, say I retake them in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen from me this year, oh God, I retake them in the name of Jesus. Every blessing that is mine that has been stolen from me, oh God. I retake them, I possess them back unto myself in this 2021 closing days, final days. In the name of Jesus, Papa, I pray that you will meet all the thieves, oh God, the robbers, oh God, that have taken things from me spiritually, physically, emotionally, and otherwise. But compel them to return what they stole. Compel them to return what they took. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the next four weeks. Hallelujah. Next four weeks, I retake them. I retake what the devil has stolen from me. I go into the enemy's camp. Even this last day of November, I go, God, into the enemy's camp and I take back what he has stolen from me, what he has taken from me, oh God. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, even things that have been stolen from me that I have no idea that something has been stolen from me, I wanted to say, Lord, whatever it is, whatever they are that have been stolen, that I don't even know, I thought I still have them, but they have been taken away. Papa, whatever I know, whatever I don't know that has been stolen from me this year, Papa, restore them, physically restore them, spiritually restore them, emotionally, please restore them in any way, in any form, in any shape. Let there be restoration. Papa, let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray against everything that has been scattered? Yes. Say, Lord, reassemble them. Put them together. Whatever it is that has been scattered from me, whatever it is that has been dispersed from me, Papa, reassemble them. Papa, reassemble them. Papa, reassemble them. Papa, put them together. Papa, reassemble them. Use the next four weeks. Use the next four weeks. Use the next 31 days. Use the next 31 days, Lord, to reassemble what I been scattered away from me, uh, what have been taken away by force uh, or by, by 
subtlety. Papa, let them be restored unto me. Let them be returned unto me. Let them be restored unto me. Let them be returned unto me. Even these four weeks, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, turn my losses into profits. Those of you that are doing business, maybe it has been a tough business because of coronavirus. Say, oh Lord, the next four weeks, let every lost column turn into profit column for me. In the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, sales uh, like I've never had before. Uh, Papa, release it into my business. Uh, open doors uh, to make more money like I've never, 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 never experienced before. Papa, release them into my life, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Papa, will bless you, will bless you, will bless you, will bless you. I want us to pray for strength again. Uh, see every weakness uh, that the past months have brought into my life. Uh, all the weaknesses that the past months have brought into my life. Papa, convert them into strength for me tonight. Papa, convert them into strength for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, help me to finish this year stronger than any other year in the history of my life. Say, oh Lord, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me to finish this year 2021 stronger than any other year in the history of my life so far. In the name of Jesus, Help me to finish this year stronger financially, stronger spiritually, stronger in my health. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Papa, I shall finish stronger by your grace and by your power. I shall finish stronger by your anointing in my life. Any other year in the history of my life will look and say, wow. 2021, you really finish stronger than before. Papa, let it be my portion. Papa, let it be our portion. Papa, let it be our portion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, can I ask you to pray for powerful testimonies? Say, oh Lord, this closing days, this closing weeks, this closing month, this closing month, I pray, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you will bless my life with powerful, powerful, powerful testimonies. You will bless my life, Lord Jesus with mighty, 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 mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, send things, send things, oh Lord, into my life. Blessings that will cause me to stand up among the congregation of God on the 31st of December and say, see what the Lord has done. I never knew God would bless me this way. It didn't happen in January, it didn't happen in August. And here we are, December, the 11th hour, the last minute. I want you to pray tonight for last minute blessings in the name of Jesus that will lead to last minute testimonies. You have heard other people testify. You shall testify. Say, I shall testify. Say, I will testify. Say, I must testify. Say, I shall testify. Say, I will testify. Say, I must testify. Say, I shall testify. Say, I will testify. Say, I must testify to the goodness of God, to the kindness of God, to the victories of God in 2021. Oh Lord, it's just 31 days left. Those are enough days for you to give me things that I will testify about. But I shall testify. I must testify. I will testify by your grace. Papa, give me the breakthrough that I need, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name. Can we pray for strength again? Say in the next 31 days, let them become days of strength on earth like I've never, never never heard before. The next 31 days, I command you, I want you to wrap it into your days. Say, I command the next 31 days, I command physical strength for my life into the next 31 days. I command spiritual strength into my life for the next 31 days. I command material strength into my life. I command matrimonial strength into my life. I command spiritual strength. I command uh, business strength. I command ministerial strength. I command anointing, O oh God, into my life for the next 31 days. All weaknesses that are planned and programmed for the next 31 days send fire, 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 fire after them. Send fire, 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 fire after them. Send fire, 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 fire after them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me finish this year, O oh God, with strength physically, strength spiritually, strength materially, strength matrimonially, strength in my business, strength in my ministry. Papa, let it be so, let it be so, let it be so, let it be so.
let it be so, let it be so, let it be so. Rivers, rivers begin to flow. Rivers of all round strength begin to flow into my life to finish strong. I want to finish this year strong, oh God. I want to finish this year strong, oh God. Papa, let it be so. Papa, let it be so. Papa, let it be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. Papa, so finishing strength into every weak area of my life. So finishing strength. Oh Lord, sow them, sow them, sow them into every weak area of my life. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pray tonight. Whatever strength was not there in January, Papa, sow it into my life in December. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever strength is on me that was not there in January, Papa, make it stronger in the name of Jesus. Yes, you've given us some strengths in this year. Papa, make it stronger, make it stronger, make it stronger. In the name of Jesus, make it stronger. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord will put laughter in you, O oh God. Say, Lord, put laughter in me for the rest of this year. Don't let me cry for the rest of this year, O oh God. Oh God, don't let me weep for any of my children. Don't let me weep for any of my businesses. Don't let me weep for any of my church members. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, we are weeping right now. Wipe away my tears in December that I shall have laughter all the way to December 31st. Let it be laughter all the way to December 31st. Let it be laughter all the way to December 31st. I decree it in the name of the Father. I decree it in the name of the Son. I decree it in the name of the Holy Ghost. Papa, let it be, 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 let it be. Gain mighty gains. Mighty gains. Say, Lord, I want to gain mighty things. I don't know what those things that the Lord will give you to gain, but you will not finish your, your, your year in red. You will finish it in beautiful, 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 beautiful dark colors. In the name of Jesus, you will not end your year in red, in powerlessness, in weakness. In the name of Jesus, the losses will be turned into gains. I decree it for you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say grace, grace to lay aside whatever will end me finishing strong, whatever will end me finishing strong, whatever will hinder me, oh God, whatever will hinder me finishing strong, Lord, remove it out of my life, oh Lord, every hindrance, oh Lord, that keeps people from ending strong, catch fire tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, let this year be, let this, let this few days that are left be days that I lay aside everything that will hinder you from blessing me in December 2021 in the name of Jesus if there be any weights I need to lay aside, give me the strength to lay them aside, if there be any relationship I need to lay aside give them the strength to, give me the strength to lay them aside, whatever I need to put down, Papa put them down for me, put them down for me, put them down for me, put them down for me in the mighty, 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 mighty Mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, God will renew your strength. Come on, pray, pray for renewal of strength for the re for the remaining of this month, for the remaining of this year. In the name of Jesus, that Lord, I want to mount up with wings like that of eagles. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray tonight? Say, oh Lord, inject me with more strength for prayer even these few days that are left in 2021 that I will go into 2022 with strength to pray strength to intercede Papa release it into my life I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Papa, release them into my life, I pray. Strength, 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 strength. In the name of Jesus, strength in the name of Jesus. For the coming year, let it be given to me, O God, to be a man of prayer, to be a woman of prayer. Can I ask you to pray tonight all the up and down in your prayer closet, all the weaknesses in your prayer closet, the Lord will turn it around for good in the name of Jesus, that Jesus will not come to you anymore. 
any day, any month in the coming year and say, ah, can't you watch with me for one hour? I want you to pray tonight. Anointing for ease of prayer. Anointing that will make prayer easy for you. The Lord will let it fall upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, answer prayers, answer prayers, answer prayers. Oh God, can I ask you to pray another prayer tonight? Even as we get ready to go into the communion. Say every spirit that has pursued me up till this point. Yes, every spirit that has pursued me up till this point. Every spirit that has pursued me up till this point. Back off in the name of Jesus. Back off in the name of Jesus. Say every demonic personality that has pursued me up till this point. I decree the fire of God to, to, to pursue you. I decree the angels of God to pursue you. Every demonic personality that have decreed that before this year ends, they will end my testimony. They will end me in life. Father, they shall not prosper by your grace. They shall not prosper by your power. They shall not prosper by your anointing. Break their yoke. Break their yoke. I want you to bind every spirit that has fought you this year in the name of Jesus. Say, I bind every demonic personality. Say, I bind every demonic personality that has fought me this year. Papa God, in the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord. Let your enemies be scattered from my life. Every demonic personality that has risen against me this year, that has withstood me, O Lord, scatter them. Even at the brink of this December 2021, Papa, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them for me. Papa, scatter them, scatter them them scatter them for me papa scatter them scatter them scatter them for me every demonic personality that have been stationed around me that has said i will not accomplish what you want me to accomplish this year papa in the name of jesus papa in the name of jesus even as i enter into this last month oh god scatter every demon scatter every spirit scatter every power that is risen up to rise against me in the name of jesus papa arise and help me Papa, arise and bless me in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight even as we close that the grace God has given you to see the beginning of this month. He will be with you till the end of this month. Say, Papa, give me the grace to be here at the end of this month. Even as you are giving me the grace to be here to do this crossover together with the people of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to thank God. I want you to begin to praise him. I want you to begin to worship him. I want you to begin to say, Lord, I bless you. Mm. Lord, I glorify your holy name for bringing me among the people of God that will take this communion tonight. We are sealing these prayers even with the breaking of bread together. He said, if you do this in remembrance of me, I will remember you. And we're going to pray, Lord, remember me for the last 31 days of this year. Remember me, O oh God, for the last four, four weeks of this year. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to please take out your bread, take out your bread, take out your fruit of the vine. We are going to break bread together. I got my own right here beside me. We are going to break bread together tonight. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Father, I just bless you that you gave me the grace to lead this last month. And here you are. You've given me the grace to lead this again this month. I'm not worthy to stand before your people to lead them in communion. But God, this is a privilege that I don't take very that I don't take lightly at all. And I bless you for everyone on this prayer line. They also don't take this lightly at all. It's a great privilege to be able to break bread with the people of God. Papa, accept our thanks right now. Accept our praises right now. Even as we stand at the brink, at the brink, beginning of 2021 December. We remember you today. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. I want you to take your bread in your hand. That's my own in my hand right here. I want you to take it in your hand and let me bless it for you. Jesus Christ took the bread and the Bible says he broke it and he said this is my body. This is my body right here. It represents my body. That was broken. All right. That was broken for you. The body was broken for you and for, broken for me. And he blessed it. And he said, Do this in remembrance of me. And what it translates into is very simple. As you remember me, I will remember you. Father, I bless every bread all across the world that has been held in the hands of people right now. I pray you will bless it in the name of the Father. You will bless it in the name of the Son. 
You will bless it in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. You can partake of it right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I just want you to praise God for what he has done for you through the breaking of his body. Hallelujah. God has not allowed the devil to break you because of what was broken. Hallelujah. On the cross of Calvary. Say, Lord, I thank you. This body was broken for me. And I praise you because you have kept me. Not allowing the breakers, mm -hmm. the breakers to break my marriage, to break my heart, to break my life. There are people who just want to break your life. Say, anything that you don't want the enemy to be able to break in your life, decree it right now. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my life shall not be broken. My, my relationship with you shall not be broken. My spiritual life shall not be broken. My financial life shall not be broken. And whatever has been broken shall be mended because of his body that was broken for you. Hallelujah. Father God, we just bless you for that. Father God, we just praise you for that. For that body that was broken for us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that the enemy has managed to break in your life, I command it to be mended back together. If your heart has been broken, I command it that right now as we enter into December, may your heart be broken heart, may it be mended in the mighty name of Jesus. If your financial life has been broken, your marital life has been broken, may God help you put it together in the name of Jesus. If your relationship with the Almighty One has been broken, may God mend it for you and put it together for you because his body was broken for a purpose why should his body be broken and you will be broken also may god heal you may god mend you up may god heal you up whichever area you need healing tonight in the precious name of jesus christ amen and amen take your cup your fruit of the vine and let's bless it even as we take it jesus christ said this is my blood it's a representation of the blood of Jesus that was shed for the remission. I like what the old English Bible calls it, the removal of sin. And if, if I may add, the removal of anything connected to sin, that includes the consequence of sin. Sickness is a consequence of sin. And so many other things that are consequences of sin. We are going to believe God that December, 2021 shall be a month where things that are in your life that are not of God will be removed right now in the name of Jesus. In fact, we are going to believe God that as we take this cup together, as it washes down into your throat, the Lord in the realm of the Spirit will wash every evil out of your way and out of your life and remove God will remove sin from your life and anything that is consequential as a result of sin, may they be washed off even as the African erosion washes the street off. May the Lord deliver you from everything that is standing in your life and is resisting what God wants to do in your life. Hold your cup in your hand. Let me bless it for you. Father, I will bless this cup in the name of Jesus. It's the cup of the New Testament. The blood of Jesus that was shed for the removal of our sins. Father, I pray that you will forgive every sin on this prayer line tonight. Even as we take this by faith. And beyond that, oh God, whatever it is that is connected to sin, that sin has opened the doors for. I pray that this communion will be a flood in our spirit, in our soul. And it will wash off. Everything that is not of you in our lives, in the name of Jesus. I bless the cup you are holding. I bless the content of the cup you are holding. I pray that this will not be a wasted spiritual exercise for you. But we have many that will translate into miracles in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen. Let's take it together in the name of the Father. And say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I worship you. The same thing we did last month. 
The same thing we did last month before last. And God has said, you will be one of those that will do the same thing this month also. And I give God a praise. Let's just thank him for the blood. Let's thank him for the blood. You remember that old church song? Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus that washes whiter than snow. I want you to pray right now that the blood of Jesus will begin to wash you. The blood of Jesus will begin to cleanse you. The blood of Jesus will begin to purge you. The blood of Jesus will begin to remove everything that needs to be removed from your life. In the name of Jesus, I want you to use this time to pray that God will remove sin from your life. Any sin of omission, any sin of commission, any sin that has become like uh, the sin that resists, that resists your prayers, that the blood of Jesus will just wash it, will fall off your life, fall off your heart, fall off your interest. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray also that everything that is connected to sin in your life, every curse that sin has brought into your life, even as a result of this communion tonight, the Lord will let them fall off your life. The Lord will let them go off your life. The Lord will deliver you from them. The Lord will rescue you from them in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for healing for your body right now in the name of Jesus. By his stripes, you are healed. I want you to pray that the Lord will touch you and heal you. Heal you spiritually. Heal you physically. Heal you emotionally. Where you are struggling, the almighty God will touch you and heal you in the precious name of Jesus. Papa, this December, oh God, make it a month of healing for us. Make it a month of deliverance for us. Make it a month of living a victorious Christian life for us. May we never be defeated in any way, in any form, in any shape. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you have a prayer you want to pray to God before I give you the last prayer point tonight? I want you to bow your head wherever you are. Say, Lord, because of the blood of Jesus, because of the body of Jesus that, uh, of Jesus that was broken, I want you to do this for me, do this for me, do that for me. I want you to pray about it right now. Whatever it is that your needs are, you can talk to God about them right now and say, Lord, I want this need made in my life this December. Maybe we, we have not even touched it. Maybe we have not mentioned it. Mention it to God right now. Say, Lord, as a result of this communion that I partook tonight, do this for me, do that for me, do that for me. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. He said, if you remember me, I will remember you. If, he said, do this in remembrance of me. And if you remember God, God will remember you. And you've remembered God tonight. Say, oh Lord, why, in which area do you want God to remember you? The Bible says the boat in which Noah was, was just going right and left. And, and the, the storm and the sea was troubling. And all of a sudden, God remembered Noah. Say, oh Lord, because I remembered you tonight. Remember me this month of December in the name of Jesus. Papa, remember me this month of December. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In the areas that you want God to remember you. Father, remember me this area. Remember me that area. Remember the covenant. Remember the promises. Whatever you want to be remembered. Oh God, in what area? In which area? You want God to remember you? Come on, talk to God right now. Say, Papa, remember me in this area. Remember me in that area. Open your mouth and fire prayer to the Almighty. I shall be remembered. This December, I shall be remembered. This December, I shall be remembered. I have remembered the Lord. The Lord shall remember me also. Oh, my, open your mouth. We're about to pray. We're about to pray the final prayer. Papa, remember me this year. Oh, remember me this year. Oh, these final days. I have remembered you by taking this communion. Remember me. Mention the areas that you want God to remember you. Maybe you have children that need to be remembered by God too. Do they need to get married, they need to have children, whatever it is they need to have, they need to get a job. Papa, remember so and so, remember such and such a child. Mention their names to God in the name of Jesus and he shall remember them. He shall remember your entire family. Father, we thank you and we bless you and we worship you for answering our prayers tonight. Come on, begin to praise him, begin to praise him that this year, this month, you are going to be remembered. Hallelujah. Thank God for the next 31 days. It will be a, it, it will be days of remembrance before God because of how you ended this year with communion. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. We adore you. We thank you for this opportunity this evening. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Let me bless Bless you, Father. Bless your people. In the name of the Father, bless your people. In the name of the Son, 
I bless your people in the name of the Holy Spirit. I decree that every prayer they have prayed, every decree that they have decreed, O oh Lord, for this month of December, you will do exceeding abundantly above that which they ask or think. Do mighty things in the lives of your people this December that it will be a December to remember after they have remembered you taking this communion. I decree the blessings of God upon your life. Whatever you want, may God give to you. Whatever you desired, may God give to you. Whatever you have called to him about, may God give it to you this December that you will run into January strong with testimonies on your lips. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. I'm excited tonight that we are crossing over with God into December 2021. Please don't forget our next uh, crossover will be into January 2022. I pray God will preserve our lives even as we are praying tonight. And don't forget we are back on this prayer line on Thursday at 7 o'clock New York time and on Friday at 7 o'clock New York time. The theme is when God has not commanded it. Yeah, there are some things that people will like to put on you and God has not commanded it. We're going to shake it off. We're going to remove it. We're going to reject it. That is Thursday and Friday. Whatever God has not commanded for your life shall not stand. In the name of Jesus, join me on Thursday. Don't join me on Friday. It promises to be a great prayer time. Until then, let's share the grace as we close for today. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. And amen and amen and amen. Happy new month to each and every one of you. May this month be a great month for you and your loved ones. We'll see you Thursday night if Jesus Christ tarries. Until then, Bishop say, happy new month.